In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write SEO optimized articles that will rank number one on Google using Gemini. So this is the process in which I've been using and I'll leave a link for this thread that you can follow along in the description below today's video. So the first thing that I told Gemini was I told it I want to create an SEO optimized blog post that has a high SEO score and is properly formatted and optimized for the keyword how to become an AI business consultant and I asked it to tell me what I needed to do. So first, I'm just trying to get some recommendations from Gemini for the things in which I need to do to make sure this content is SEO optimized. So as we can see here, it tells me exactly what I need to do. I need to include some primary keywords and some secondary keywords. I need to understand the search intent. I need to structure the content in a specific way. And I need to follow some of the best SEO practices and make sure my content quality is good and also promote it and some other considerations. So these are actually really good, um, really good recommendations that we can follow. And it's always good to ask the AI um, what it needs to get done, because then you get an idea of what the AI knows, but also you're able to prime the AI because the AI will then use that information to write an SEO optimized article. So first what I did was, since it gave me a list of keywords, I wanted it to expand on that keyword list. So I told it to expand on the list, include more LSI keywords, imported related keywords, secondary keywords, and so on. So as you can see here, this is an expanded list of the keywords that we need to include within this article. So we get some LSI keywords, which are essentially related keywords. Then we get some um, other related keywords, so AI consultant jobs, and we get some important secondary keywords and keywords in which we need to include within the header. So these are our H1s, H2s, and H3 keywords that the AI needs to include within the headers. And then we get some other important considerations on how to use these keywords. So now that it kind of is setting up the article in the right way. I then went ahead and pasted in my own SEO prompts, and you can find these prompts in the description below today's video. So essentially, I'm just telling it what SEO writing looks like, what we need to include within the article to make sure that it's SEO optimized. And then I asked it finally, do you understand yes or no? So once that was all done, I think we've properly prime the AI. Then I went ahead and told it to use the keywords above, use the recommendations above, write, and then using your own knowledge of SEO, write an SEO optimized outline. And this was the outline in which we got back. We get three different title options. Then we get the H1, H2, and so on. Overall, this is a pretty optimized outline. It's fairly in-depth and it is SEO optimized. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and tell the AI to write the full article. Okay, so this is the full article that we got back for the keyword, how to become an AI business consultant. As we can see here, it is fairly short for my likings. It's only about 500 words. So what we could do is we can then go ahead and tell the AI to expand this article section by section. So I'm just gonna tell it to expand the intro and then the following headers, and then so we can get a much better article and much longer article. So here we have the full article. Once we've expanded each section, as you can see, this is a little bit longer. Um, let's go ahead and copy over all of this content to get an idea of the word count. And then we'll be going ahead and we'll be pasting this content onto Neuron Writer to get the content optimization score. So in terms of word count, this is about 1500 words. So a lot longer than the first article. So now let's head over to Neuron Writer. And I've already created a project and done this once before using a different um, AI writer. So if you wanna check out that video, I'll try to find that video and leave it in the description below. But let's go ahead and remove the previous content. As you can see, this was a 69. Let's go ahead and remove this and we're gonna paste in the content from Gemini. So here we have the full article from Gemini. As you can see, it is a 73. I had to do some minimal optimizations manually, but as you can see here, we were able to add in an H1 tag and we were able to just optimize some of the H2s as well. And we have a decent content optimization score. Of course, we can go ahead and manually do some more optimizations to increase this score, but I'm happy with a score of 73. You can definitely be confident that this is SEO optimized and you can post this on your website. Of course, you would have to kind of get rid of some of the formatting issues that you get from Gemini, such as the expand more section and so on. But overall, I would say that when you follow this method, when you prime the AI, when you ask it, what do we need to do to write SEO optimized content? And then ask it to break that down into keywords, into creating SEO optimized outlines, and then writing the full article, you are able to write much, much more SEO optimized content using Gemini. And that is because Gemini is used by Google. So Google 
Google should know what it takes to write SEO optimized content, but sometimes you need to prompt it in the right way. So that's how you can use Gemini in addition with Nuon Writer to write SEO optimized content. I did go ahead and include a title and a meta description. Now, this is a very basic title and meta description. And then I went ahead and made sure that these keywords were manually included within um, the title and meta description, but it's something that you definitely need to include. So overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.